What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We're doing some more Tinkerer's Cube. I have not given up on this format yet. I would prefer that it wasn't best of one. But here we are. With the best of one. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> All right. So counters, red, green, white counters is an option. Reanimate is kind of a thing. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing with iron crag feet. I like the if you do you have Cuban Arena best of one is garbage and the prize pad is so low you have to win so much to get your entry. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you completely. Um I think I think this card's just great, right? I don't know. We're gonna take this and we're gonna try something different here. Temple of Abandon. Ooh. Ghidorah. Thank you. Let's take a Ghidorah. Oh, what up, Spaghetti Touch? Welcome back. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Steven C. With the resub, even though it was five hours ago. I appreciate you. Is there any tips you can give someone just learning to love cube? Not really. I mean, cube in general. No, not really, because every cube is different. And this one I'm not having the best of luck with because reasons? I don't know. So, uh, no. No, the... <laughs> there is no advice I can give. I mean, because general, like... See, I've, I've posted, like, probably hundreds and hundreds of cube videos on on YouTube. <sighs> hmm. I mean, Mementus Fall is very good. How about drafting in general? Oh my god. I mean, these are just, these are just really open-ended questions. What do we got? 18 seconds? I like Dreamtail Heron. Adapt. God, 10 seconds. I'm going to take Momentous Fall. I mean, I think the other creatures are just creatures, whereas Momentous Fall is really, really good. Double blue for Baron. Put a trample counter on something. None of these cards are super exciting. I think I'm just taking Explore here. We're definitely taking stomping around here. Krenko's real good, but I think fixing's a little more important. Nothing in this pack is super exciting. Maybe Garen Brig. Uh, no. No. I think this guy's just fine. I, I mean, like, the problem is I'm taking cards like this, and I'm like, it's cube, so I don't know if it's any good. But, what are you going to do? Oh, 
steam vents. Temple of Abandon came back? That's pretty nice. Rampart Smasher, too. Jeez, these are kind of the cards I wanted. I don't think we have a we have like one card that sacrifices two cards that sacrifice. Yeah, just take lava serpent. It's a big fat idiot. What is this one? Menace counter. That's actually not terrible. Yeah, 3 2 for 3 is not the worst stats. <coughs> oh, there we go. We did it. It was time. Primal Empathy. With being your upkeep, draw a card if you control a creature with the greatest power. This card seems actually really good for our big fat boom boom deck that we're putting together here. Or Sarkon's Unsealing. Four, five, or six drops. So far we have one, two, three, four. I'm going to take the unsealing. Is it any target? Oh, wow. If one or more one-way counters will be placed, twice that many are placed. Okay, that's pretty good. Gizik is interesting. I think I just want Rexage. Rexage is just a little too versatile in this cube, especially with no sideboarding. Oh, Clothis is nice. Oh, so is Ketria Triome. I think we've got to play Clothis. Maybe the Triome. The Triome might actually come back. <clears throat> Steam Vents came back, so. Fabled Passage could be fine. Just gonna take Fabled Passage here. <clears throat> Uh, drying up. Sweltering Suns could be decent. I just don't see us playing it in the main deck. That's it. Ugh. Like, I don't know why Wilt is in the, like, I don't understand Wilt being in the cube. Like, you can't sideboard. So, like, you're putting these cards, these sideboard cards in. Just main deck a Wilt. I don't know. Like, ugh. Dislike. Each other non-human creature enters battlefield with one encounter. Yeah, <clears throat> Grumgully seems great. Rootbound Crag. I'll take a Rootbound Crag. Flame Spell, also pretty good. Wilt could be 41, I guess. That's true. A Braid seems great. Let's take an Abraid. I think the Ketria Triome is not coming back. Skizik is decent with Sarkons on Ceiling. 
Uh, yeah, actually, sure. Why not? We got another pack. Oh, Draki set seems baller. <clears throat> yeah, Titanic Brawl is fine. <laughs> At least it has cycling. Yeah, I'm like, cool. I mean, this is why I took Rex Age, because it actually at least does something, like. One, two, three, four, five, six lands. That's pretty good. <coughs> Do -do -do -do. Yeah, you're not getting played. Oh, God, I still love Dragon Master Outcast. I still think it's great. I also think Land Over Visionary is really good. I think Outcast has to be better than Visionary, right? Like... Just making five fives every turn. Take Infuriate out for now. See, the problem is we have like Sarkons on ceiling. Whenever you cast a creature spell, but then I'm like, Roar of the Worm costs four or more, and that's not a creature spell. Havoc Jester. Might just be Crawl Harpooner here. That seems good. I actually like the way it's looking right now. <sighs> actually, maybe it's... Actually, I kind of like Body Double. Body Double triggers Sarkons on ceiling, and it's just a solid dude. Uh, and I kind of like this guy. This guy costs four, and it's also a uh, solid option in the queue when there's a ton of <clears throat> enchantments and artifacts and things. Distracted for a second. I apologize. Um, so you've got even Gunseal is actually good in the reanimate the deck, but we don't uh, really have a way to cast a nine mana creature efficiently. Cartouche is fine. I think it might just be Jang Yangu. We actually have quite a few cards to put counters on things. Uh, Merfolk Branchwalker seems good. Actually, Sifter Worm seems better. Let's take the Sifter Worm. That guy's kind of unbeatable here. Domri seems good. Uh, Michael is fine, yes. I'm going to take Domri. Cultivate. Oh, yeah. We're cultivating. Eh. 
Havoc Jester is fine. It goes along with our plan. I had someone just cast the Sarkons on the ceiling against me and construct a ladder match. They lost. Well, did they lose directly because they cast that, or did they just happen to lose? Like. Man, I wish that Ketria Trium came back. I wonder how many cards this is outside of our lands. I think it's probably only two cuts. Yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh wow, you're making me you're giving me three islands when I have two blue cards. That's all that's all good amount. Uh okay, any of these? Banefire seems good. Godzilla is a little rough. We could play Godzilla then body double it. Might be a little too cute. Keeping all the two drops. How many creatures get plus one plus one counters? Grumgully gives them. Frillscal Mentor gives one. I would cut the blue, but keep the mutate. So you want to cut one of the two blue cards? Seems good. It's pro plays. Pro plays, Robert. <clears throat> I think it's Jang Wang Yang Yu. And maybe Frill Scare, Frill Scare Mentor? Yeah, I can cut the Mentor. How many creatures is this? 16? That's more than fine. Let's get... Let's Don't show me the lands I'm not playing, because that's weird. Just one island, because we also have Steam Vents and Fable Passage, and Cultivate. And so that's one, uh, two, three, four sources of blue for two blue cards. Seems fine. Oh, also Don Treaderock as well, so. And... Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Green, we have one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nah, nine again. That's yeah, fine. Nine, nine, four. That seems good. And oh wait, we get more because we cut the islands. Hmm. May eh, see every island we we add makes it harder to cast Rampart Smasher on turn two or four rather, not turn not turn two. I think we're just adding uh, one and one of each. So another forest, another mountain. Sure, done. Dunzo McBunzo. Eh, seems fine. What was your first pick? Um, Rada, Grand Keld thing. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
not gonna kill that guy. Oh, nothing. I like it. Whoa, Grum Gully, Bam Bala. <laughs> See, that's pretty funny. They killed my guy. Kill the government killed my baby. Let's get one of these and one of these. Put this one into play. Play this one. Well, I was really hoping to get a five, a six, four Skizik with Trample and Haste. What do you think? What's Grim Gully? I know Grum Gully. I don't know a Grim Gully though. Are you thinking of Grim Grin? Is that is that what you're thinking of? That's hard to deal with. Well, you know what I mean. Do I? Do I? It's hard to say, my dude. Um, no kick. Two, three, four, five. So we can play Forest instead. Play this guy. This is just three, three life linker. Sure. Black Betty was a child. You got it. Beautiful. Oh, that's annoying. Your tattoos ever get raised and or itchy? No. That sounds like it'd be terrible. Oh, look at everybody coming in.
Well, I don't want to attack because I think they just trade here. Which might be fine. Mine get raised and it's weird. Yeah, that is weird. I agree. Alright, give me something good. That's fine. Shouldn't you have kept man up to bounce it? To bounce what? Unsealing is on cast, otherwise I definitely would have kept three up. This is actually real. If I mutate it, is it still count kind of as casting the creature? If you cast this spell... I mean, it says you may cast... It says if you cast the spell for its mutate cost. I'm still just going to play it because I don't want to risk it, but... You got it. Come on, Rex Sage off the top. Because now we don't have a flying block. And that's not cool. Seems good. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just business as usual. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left. Next I'll start reaching the return of the battlefield. Now we're going to be the battlefield. Sure. <laughs> Wilt off the top. One can hope. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five. So we can block two. We take three. Yep, that's good times. Not the worst draw. Seven, fourteen. Does this just win? No, they make a blocker. Hmm. Could we have won? If we don't fall to the face, they go to 15, and then they block a 7, so they take 12, so... No. None of these guys have trample either, so... We won't answer yeah, not the relevant. Uh, if we had one more land... Actually... 
We might have wanted to get in there for like seven and then f just blink one of these guys. Do we have a way to sacrifice anything? I don't think so. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to no attacks and hope they don't have a removal spell. Because that seems... They block here, they go to 20, they take 7, 12. Sure. That's pretty good. And now we're fucking dead. No, I guess we still have a fight left in the chamber. does keep us alive yep one two three four to blink and counter four to blink and counter that works for me Well, glad they didn't actually have mana for that. Greater than or equal than your starting life total. Okay, it's not. Um, I guess there's no reason to blink these now. That's insane. <laughs> yep, that's game. <laughs> wow. Jeez. You really gotta you really gotta work on these wins, man. Sifter worm's a hell of a drug. Yeah, this hand seems fine. It's a little slow, but... That opponent out of family, yeah. But then the sift worm came. There he is again. Wow, there's your boy. Well, so long, Grim Gully, as Rob would say. I got a headache today. I think it's because of the... The change in weather. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's play that guy. Grim Grum Gully meets you at the bar. Why do you keep repeating your questions? <laughs> no. Timoret. Call the dead. Land. Shepherd. Lord of Extinction. Jesus. Those are... Those are some big boys. Ah, Grim Gully. Ah, maybe Grim Gully sounds like this. Huh? You know, maybe. Let's go no attacks. Pacifism Mantle Lord. These are very interesting. Ah, Robert, would you like a 1 1 counter? Mm, too bad, you're human. You know, something like that. Oh. No, no, no blocks, I guess. What did you give this dude? Sentinel eyes? Look with your sentinel eyes. My brand. Next 1-1 one, one counter is on me, boys. 
Yeah, it's like that. That's how he sounds. See, sometimes you just get shit draws like this, and you're just like, all right, well, cool, you're, you've are you got a really aggressive start, and I can't do anything, and my one creature is a human right now. Thank you. I guess, you know, fingers crossed they don't have a an answer for my other creature. Well, that one's good. Whenever a creature you control without flying... Oh, so I guess I get to eat this guy. Hmm. Okay, okay. Can we cast Sifter Worm here? Because that's pretty cool. Oh, baby. <laughs> and I got a Rex Sage? Oh, shit, yeah. This is the... This is the tits. Wait, can I not cast this guy, though? Hmm. I think it's still worth having in hand. Wait. Did I gain seven? Yes, I did, because I was six, right? So. Then they just block here. Eh, no attacks. We're going to start making dragons next turn? That's pretty wild. Oh, they're just going to scoop. <laughs> I guess Dragon Master Outcast is uh, Thank you. It's a hell of a drug, man. Ice Shadow, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. That kills the maggot. Yeah, I'll keep this. I'm okay with it. I feel like we just get island here. And then we can explore. Mana mana. Do 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 do. So next turn we'll have four, we can play this for three, we get two, so we can't actually play anything else, but we can Cultivado. Let's get red and... Let's get actually... Let's get two red because we got Dracula Seth. Oh, isn't that guy just spectacular? Oh, wow. <laughs> we did it, boys. So we can actually go Domri at a point and then get nothing out of it. It's not great. <sighs> we could just just play Havoc Jester. One, two, three, four, five. We could just play Lava Serpent. 
You can play Domri, keep up a braid, and then next turn play Dracuseth. Three, four, Domri takes four, he dies. That's not great. Um, I think it's just Lava Serpent? Oh my god, I was totally going to make the That's What She Said reference. Yep, that seems good. No attacks though, huh? Oh, Dracuseth just coming on down? Oh, baby. You know what? Let's not. Let's not beat around the bush. If they didn't have an answer for Lava Serpent, I... I don't think they'd have one for this unless they just prioritize playing this over removing the Lava Serpent, so. <sighs> yep, that's pretty good. Okay, okay. So if we attack with this, four damage to the target, three damage to the two other targets. Four to this, three to you, and then that's it. This is four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We have a lot of mana. You have pro multicolored, so I don't think I can actually target you with this. Um... Oh, it counts when he dies. That's interesting. So let's kill him first, actually. Wait, what happened? When Bachelor's turn or another creature... Oh, if it had a plus one, plus one counter. Okay. Well, I'm not smart. Uh, is this for four? And then three. Submit. I actually don't want you to embalm this because then you just get two tokens, right? Sure. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we could have just killed it with... Uh... For some reason, I thought that guy always gave you the... Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. Yeah, best of one is a fun fucking format. Does that do anything? Not really. Oh, Jesus. Why not a braid in response? Braid in response to what? Yes, I know. I don't want to. I don't want to kill the other creature because then they embalm it and they get two angels out of it, so it doesn't do anything on the board. I'd rather have a one three on the board than two four fours. That's not because they never end. Wait, the braid in a braid. What? What are you saying though? I can't braid four fours. What are you saying right now? Just the braid, dog. <laughs> I'm just like, what are you saying? Oh, man. Uh, target creature or planeswalker? You. And you. And submit. I braid the priest. Not the, I don't, yeah, but I don't care about that. I don't care about the life. Like, the life is fine. And, like, 
again, like they're going to get two angels from this when they embalm it. So like that just feels 10 times worse. Two angels. I don't even own a braid, let alone many braids, to necessitate an a braid. I'm just trying to figure out like what the Like if we abrade this, this guy survives, but then they do make two guys next turn. They're at thirteen whatever I don't actually care all right don't know how I deal with that but all right Shadow, have a good night, buddy. I don't know why they're just attacking with this. Oh, I didn't... I literally didn't see these were attacking because they have Vigilance. That's cool. Guess it doesn't matter. That was cool. How does I finish the YouTube video where Mike eats super spicy gummy bear? Does he come back or is he dead? I'll never tell. Grum Gully. Come on. Green. Same's good. All right. Are you enjoying this queue? I tried it out, really wasn't thrilled, but I, would, I think the queue is probably fine. Uh, I think best of one is actually hot trash, and I don't understand why you would ever choose to make your cube this format. Uh, because right now, like as as you do in Magic: The Gathering, uh, because the the literal worst component of the game is the resource system. Um, you know, I don't get to actually cast any spells. I get to just lose the game because our opponent has a Woe Strider with a staggering insight on it. And uh, we just don't get to do anything. 
So, because I didn't mulligan a hand with three lands, then, you know, I, this is just a loss. I just get to lose. Uh, that's funny. Uh, less like Q because the overall power level is lower, but there are busted cards you can't beat. Yeah, that's literally my experience as well. I feel like I have a solid, well-rounded deck, but I just lost the last round to, uh, Divine Visitation plus Anointed Procession. And then I just lost this round to not being able to cast any cards in my hand. Best of one being normal on Arena is the worst thing that has happened to Magic since I started playing. I agree, I think it's actually terrible. I, I do not think Magic is meant to be played as a best of one game. It has some of the highest variance in, in terms of card games and, like... Uh... There's just no benefit. Like, what's the benefit to it? Oh, it's faster? Like, okay, how about we play five rounds instead of seven, but they're best of three? You know, like, what's the benefit? I don't understand the point of it. See, this is a great hand. I think they did that so the game is more appealing to newcomers. I feel like it'd be less appealing to newcomers because I would lose a game really quickly and be like, wait, that's it? <laughs> that sucked. I didn't even get to do anything. Like... Well, Deport, I'm also not disagreeing with you that that's the reasoning. I'm just saying, like, personally, I would be like, well, that's weird. You might as well attack, you're not gonna- I doubt you're blocking. Sideboard cards and cycling will make ev evening better? Yeah, I'm like, but I don't want to play Wilt in my deck. Like, like, I'll board it in when I know there's a guaranteed threat. Like, the problem is, like, in game one, you don't know if they have Divine Visitation, right? So you either hold your Wilt the whole time. You're like, I'm just going to hold Wilt because they could have some broken enchantment. And you're literally losing value on this card that you could be playing, which, which would not be Wilt if you weren't afraid of that. But once you see the card that you're afraid of, or that you want to that you want to beat, then you can guaranteed have an answer for. You can board in Wilt, and then you know you have an answer for it, and you know they have that card in their deck, right? So like, it's really hard in best of one to have a card like Wilt in your deck because you don't know what they what they have. So do you just hold it until they have something, or do you cycle it early and then Thanks. then they play a Banishing Light, and you're like, oh, I wish I had my Wilt, but I didn't know you had that because it's best of one, so. You know. Cool. Where the hell are my lands on the top of my deck?
Facetious Elephant. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Some study somewhere said X amount of time is the best time for a match of any game for max attention and you can't do best of three done in that time. You can't get best of three. That's interesting. Okay. Well. So this has to be seven. So we need a three. Three, four, five. We got a Dracu Seth. That doesn't do it then. Go Domri into. This doesn't turn on now? One, two, th oh wow, it actually removes? Oh my god. That's just terrible. As you can tell, I've never played Devotion and Mutate, so I don't know how they interact together. I assumed it was kind of like an enchantment where I put it on top and then they, you know, I get, I get the benefits of both. But, uh, that's not the case. Be nice. Yep. Cool. No, no, 
Having a good time. Having a good time. I mean, I guess we're still at a high life total, so that's cool, but... Deals two damage to any target. If another red source would deal damage to a permanent, it deals damage plus one. Sure. Hey, little cheap. I mean, I'm definitely blocking if they want to trade and shock my guy, that's fine. They don't have enough mana to draw a card here, so that's okay. Jai is my favorite walker as a character, and I hate that she doesn't get cooler cards. That's... I, I also know that pain. Yep, that's fine. It is, it is life. I'm looking at the, the one in black. They're at five, though? And we have Clothis? Like, that's weird. Uh, Jaya might be the only Planeswalker that looks old. Urza's probably old, right? Thank you. Mr. Tasty with a gifted sub. Thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Well, I believe it was you. I think you're lying. So there are three. We have Clothis on board. I don't know how they beat that. I mean, it's our last card removal. They just killed Dracula's death. Sure. So they have no cards in hand. So as long as we can survive at 23, I think we're fine. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. When you're coming home, son, I don't know when. Oh, wow, there's... Okay. Did you get those shoes mentioned the other day? And when do you show them off to your fans? Um, I got a pair on eBay, but they're also releasing more tomorrow at 8 a.m. So we'll see if that, if I can just grab a normal priced pair.
I don't know what's happening right now, but... Sure. I'll take five, six. <laughs> Wild. See, again, though, best of one, I get Clothis down, they can't win. So it's like, it's just a matter of like, there's cards that if your opponents get them down and you're not playing around them or ha are unable to deal with them, you can't win the game. So it's just like, it's it's just kind of like you get locked out of these best of one games. We'll get together then. You know we'll have a good time then. Right, like Black Blackguard probably doesn't have a great way to deal with this, but they can play around it and they can prioritize other things if they know it exists. I mean, this is... Our, our deck's doing very well outside of losing to Divine Visitation and Mana Screw. I guess we're 3-2. I guess we're not... I mean, like, I guess we're doing fine. Oh, and Karn is a robot. I will keep... I, you guys are still chatting about fucking Blainswalkers. Oh, we're definitely getting a forest here. I like the way you work. Green source, green source, where are you? Put you into play. Do 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 do. Okay. No, I appreciate the lore. I actually, I'm a big lore fan. When me and Ollie and Trazi used to do Freshly Brewed, one of my favorite things was like when Ollie would talk about lore. Hmm. More tokens on the battlefield. I kind of like Cultivate here. I mean, we have to take a turn off is the problem. Whereas if we put this on the bottom and then... Oh, no, we have we have Temple of... No, wait, Temple is here. Yeah, we don't have a fifth land. So Cultivate gets us a fifth and a sixth land. I think it's worth it. I'll trade this. This is fine. Oh, they got big plans for this Woodland Champion. Fascinating. I'm a big Lorne fan. Love SNL. Yeah, man, for my money. Doesn't get any better than Lorne Michaels. Red, 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 green. I want the second blue because Ghidorah is... too blue to, to mutate, so...
Man, double Bastion of Remembrance decks, huh? Okay. Thank you. Seems good. You expect me to tuck my tail between my legs? Good times. Good, good times. Removal, removal, removal for the last three threats I've had. Seems good. Bullrack Soup Slurker, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You draw cards equal to the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I like this. Momentous Fall is a hell of a drug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So is Sifter Worm. Interesting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana, so we can actually play both of these. Or we can play six and three. Let's play this first to hit a land off the top. Ooh, not a land, but a Clothis. One, two, three, four, six. Lava Serpent is just a... Or we can play Smasher and a Braid. That actually might be better. But I want to keep Smasher... No, we're just going to play Lava Serpent here. I want to keep Smasher for the Clothis because that kind of turns it on. Five, six, seven, eight, double block here. It seems fine. I think we're not attacking here. Neither are they. Yeah, Ron also gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 11, plus 11, plus 11. Next turn, that's pretty good. But not trample. And there's a Draki stealth on the top. That's pretty good, right? Do we just alpha here? Sure. Why not?
Are we five or four now? It's hard to it's hard to keep up. Just four. Dang it. Dang it. It's such a grind, dude. Um, yeah, this hand seems fine. Lots of lands, but that's okay. Big black deck. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I'm going to keep Momentous Fall. I just think it's good enough to have. I feel like that, that elk was playing some jazz. Um, Let's get in there. Put this into play for free. Look at Tom Brady over here losing track of all his wins. God damn. Lord of Extinction. Oh, man. That's wild. One, two, three, four, five. God, I hope they don't just kill us out of nowhere next turn. Especially after I laughed at it. Jeez. Let's get a blue and we have... Yeah, let's get a green. They're gonna be like, mill myself for 20. Kill you. And I'll be like, wow. Don't I look stupid? Double it? Or they're gonna kill Dawn Treader Elk. Yep, double it, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Building standard for Zendikar is weird with no shock lands and lots of spells and lands. The mid range glory deck has around 18 or lands and 10. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cool. That was super cool. Vraska's Contempt and back to back matches. Sounds good. Hmm. 
So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. I caught your thing on best of one matches. I've come to prefer them. What the fuck? Why? That's wild, man. Yeah, but you're very contrary in a lot of ways. You love having controversial opinions that are... Time? I don't know. I feel like if you want to, like, have short matches that, that you don't... <sighs> cool. Wow. Yep. Really? Targeting Euro and Voracious Hydra. Sounds good. Yep, Body Double's cool because they not only did they... Uh, well, I guess neither of these are actually great targets for Body Double, but they also exiled our Dracuseth, so... That's unfortunate. They just body double a Havoc Jester. Uh, doesn't seem great, but... It's literally the only target. So... Remember when I was making fun of the 2-2 Lord of Extinction? Those were the days. I'm pretty sure this is the end. 5-3? 4-3? I don't even know. I'm pretty sure we've yet to do better than 4 wins. Oh, what up, Timmy boy? I'll take two.
two, three, four, five. So now we can keep up Mentis Fall. Sack this guy if we want to. Draw five, gain three. Seems pretty good. It does put two more cards in the graveyard, making this 13 13. I'm actually not sure how we beat this card, is the problem. Yep. Oh, they're going to fight something. I like it. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six and f <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So next turn we can go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now the sky is real big. <sighs> so if we do this, they lose this guy and this guy, so that puts this guy up to 20. Yep, that's fucking amazing. Cool. Yep, 4-3. Oh, Bankrupt in Blood and Scholar of the Ages. Two cards that will literally take up space in my collection that I will have to scroll past while never considering them for any deck ever. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com. You can find the link and promo code for 20% off the first three months of any subscription down below. And check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You'll get 68% off a two-year subscription along with free month if you used that link. So definitely check that out. It's a great way to support the channel if you guys are looking for a VPN or some internet security. Uh, it's a great value and a great service. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.